I've planned my own vacations for almost two decades now to destinations inside and outside of the United States. And I've enjoyed solo trips, couples trips, group trips, and trips with my family. But there's one thing that I learned, it's that if you fail to gather the right information at the start of the trip planning process, things can go south very, very quickly. In this video, I'm sharing with you five critical questions to ask yourself before planning your next vacation. I like to make videos on travel, food, and life, and in this video, I'm sharing five critical questions you need to ask yourself before planning for your next vacation. This is the second video in my How to Plan a Vacation series. The first one has reasons why you need to plan in advance, so if you haven't seen this one, pause and then check it out. Link is in the description box below. If you're ready for this video, go ahead and grab a pen, grab a paper, grab a tablet, grab your phone, whatever it is. You need to follow along and take notes because you're gonna wanna write this information down or you could just click my blog link in the description down below to copy and paste it all. So let's go. Question one is where do you want to go? Is it a local trip, which is a less than two hours drive from where you live? Or is it a domestic trip, which is three or more hours from where you live or if it's out of state within your home country? Or are you looking to travel abroad? You know, like international, overseas, to a different country. All the same thing. Where do you want to go? And here are a few things to consider in deciding where you want to go. Think about things like like, will I hop around to visit multiple locations or am I just gonna visit one place? And how long will this trip be? Is it a weekend, a week, a couple weeks, months? How much time do you have off to take? Local and domestic trips are really great if you have limited time and international trips are best suited if you have at least, at bare minimum, three to four days up into a few weeks depending on the destination you choose. When you're looking where to go, are you looking at a major city? Are you looking at the mountains? Is it near water? Is it in the countryside? Is it off the beaten path? And do you have the resources available to visit your destination. Do you need a visa or an immunization? Uh, do you have the local currency? Do you have cultural knowledge? Do you speak the language or are you willing to learn a key few words or phrases? Knowing where you want to go is critical because all of your vacation planning is centered around the destination. Now here's the second critical question you need to ask yourself before planning your next vacation. Who? are you going with? Who, who are you going with? Knowing who you're going with will help shape your overall experience and it helps inform your costs. Here are some things to consider. Is this gonna be a solo trip or is it gonna be a group trip or a couples trip? How many people are traveling with you and what are their needs? If it's a solo trip, planning will be a breeze because you are the decision maker and you don't need to consult anybody. Just be safe and enjoy doing what you want when you want. I love solo travel. I've solo traveled. Highly recommend. If you're traveling with other people, it helps to have the same travel style as your traveling companions or you know that you need to compromise in order to maximize everyone's experience. Think about things like, are you traveling with family? friends or significant other? How old are your travelers? Are they 70 years old and above? Are they kids? Are they the same age as you? Is this just a girl's trip only? Adults trip only? Are you traveling with teens who get bored easily or little babies and toddlers that need naps and strict feeding schedules? When you're looking at who you're traveling with, let's go ahead and talk about money. Who's funding this vacation? What is your budget and what is their budget. Are you traveling with spenders? You know, my money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. Or are you traveling with savers? Those who are fiscally conscious and all the way up into those who are just straight up cheap. Who are you traveling with and what is their budget situation? How much money is each party willing to spend? Will this trip cause you to go into debt or place you under any kind of financial distress? Really important to know. Do you have the money for this trip, honestly? In addition to these finance questions, when you're looking at who you're traveling with, are there any health or dietary or mobility concerns that may impact the decisions you make about your trip? And then what about pets? Are pets going with you and what are their needs? Knowing who you're going with informs what you do, when you do it, where you eat and where you'll stay. Who do you really want to go on this trip with? After you determine who you're going with, if anybody at all, now it's time to ask yourself, 
when do you want to go? Knowing when you want to travel is important because there are peak and there are off-peak seasons that come at different prices and with varying levels of comfort. Do you have specific dates in mind or are you flexible? How much time off do you have? Is this a last minute trip or do you have more time to plan? And speaking of when you want to go, weather can enhance your mood or spoil it. And everyone has a different definition of what the perfect temperature is. I was born and raised in sunny, Southern California in San Diego, so warm weather to me is an absolute requirement. To me, the perfect traveling temperature is between 67 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I know other people who just love the rain and others who enjoy seeing fresh snow fall from the sky when it is cold. So ask yourself, what season are you most comfortable traveling in? Is it fall, winter, summer, spring? And if you're traveling with other people, what temperatures are they most comfortable in? Summer and fall are mine, but what's the perfect season for you? Drop it in the comments down below. What is the perfect traveling season for you? And what temperatures do you like best? Put emojis, put your thoughts. Also, when determining when to go, Consider things like, are you traveling to attend a particular activity or a festival, a holiday, or an event? Are these dates during peak seasons or off-peak seasons? And you can always Google which one's peak and which one's off, because you're likely to pay more if you're traveling during a peak season or at the last minute. Are you and or your traveling buddies okay with this? Or maybe it doesn't matter, I don't know, you decide. In determining when you want to travel for your trip, consider this. Do you and or your traveling crew have money readily available to book right now? Or do you actually need time to save? In my last video on why you need to plan for your trip now, you know that I like to plan six to eight months up until a year in advance so I can have the experience that I want to personally have. And speaking of experiences, the next critical question to ask before planning your next vacation is what type of vacation experience do you want to have? Knowing what type of vacation experience you want to have will help inform where you visit, the activities you will participate in, and how much money you need to do it. We all have an idea of what we want to experience and I love turning those plans and ideas and dreams into reality. So here are some things to consider. What is your idea of recreation? What allows you to recharge? What nourishes you? What have you always dreamed of doing at this destination? Are you traveling just to relax? Are you a luxury traveler, a backpacker, an outdoors traveler? Are you a traveling foodie? Do you travel for adventure? Do you like culture and museums and theatrical performances? Are you traveling because you love photography or some mix of everything or none of the above, something different? Are you looking for an all-inclusive experience like in a resort or a cruise ship where you don't have to lift a finger or not? Do you travel at a really super fast pace and you want to see it all or do you enjoy a slow travel at a leisurely pace? Will this be a technology free trip? Are you expecting those traveling with you to be disconnected? Are you an early riser or do you like to go to bed like super late? And can you tolerate large crowds and the nightlife scene or do you prefer your own space, a quiet space? When it comes to eating, do you want to dine at a luxurious five-star restaurant every night or are you comfortable with street food? Maybe a mix of everything, maybe not. Do you like to have three meals a day or less or more? And when you're looking at what type of vacation experience you want to have, Think about things like, how do you want to get around? Are you okay with public transportation? Do you only want to take a taxi or a private car? Or do you even want to rent a car to drive? Or are you cool with an RV or a camper van? Are you comfortable on a boat? Do you get seasickness? What about train travel? And are you comfortable even flying on an airplane? Do you mind walking most days? Is that okay for you? Ooh, and get this, if you are traveling with other people, do their expectations and comfort level match yours? If so, great, but if not, are you willing to compromise? And be really intentional and ask everyone involved in the trip, what type of vacation experience do you want to have? Asking this question before you book anything can set the appropriate expectations for everyone. They'll know what to expect and what they're paying for. Doing this after you book or even not at all can lead to great disappointment and stress and frustration when you're really supposed to be on vacation, not dealing with all that stress and foolishness. If you find that your expectations don't align, 
consider branching off on your own trip or planning a trip with just those where your travel styles do align. Or if that's even not an option, then be very patient with other people as you kind of go to those activities and do the things that you're not 100% about, but if it's me, it's my vacation and I wanna do what I want. So I'm more likely to branch off. But what are you comfortable with? What are you okay with doing? The fifth critical question to ask yourself before planning your next vacation is why? Why are you going? Knowing why you want to travel to a particular destination is important because it helps provide clarity when deciding between a wealth of different options. And trust me, there are a lot of options to choose from. It helps you focus exactly on what you want and allows you to navigate the tedious details throughout the planning process. Because there's gonna be some ups and there's gonna be some downs. Knowing why you're going on this trip paints the bigger picture that can shape your experiences and energize you to take action. For example, when Hun and I went to London, we took an evening bike tour and that footage is in my How to Plan a London series, so go check that out. But at the end of the bike tour, we all met up as a group of international tourists and we're talking about, hey, why London? Why here? Why now? And come to find out, the reason why for one of the ladies on our trip, she was a solo traveler and she had spent the last 18 years as a stay-at-home mom, tending to her husband and her son, who just graduated from high school and is going into college. Well, upon graduation, her husband told her, I was only with you for the kid and now that the kid is graduated and off to college, I'm out. And he left her for secretary. So she had spent 18 years of her life being a wife and a mother and she didn't even know who she was anymore. So she told us all, I am on a three month trip all across the world to find out who I am again. What do I like? What do I not like? What are like, what's going on with me? Who am I? So she was going on a soul searching journey. Another example of why your why is so important was because we met an older couple in Mexico. They were very, very old and they kind of moved around slowly and we were at an all-inclusive resort. It was sunny, it was warm, the sand was the perfect temperature, the water was amazing. This old man explained to us that him and his wife traveled a lot, but their health was failing them. This trip was going to be their last because they had to have multiple surgeries that would make them unable to travel. So they wanted to spend just one more week in somewhere that was warm and beautiful and tropical and have all their needs taken care of so that all-inclusive resort was their very well done traveler trip. So what should you consider when determining what your why is? Of all the places in the world, why are you traveling to this specific place? Why do you want to spend your money and time at this destination? And think about why you're so inspired to take this vacation in the first place. And why is it important that you go at this particular time? And honestly, of all the five critical questions you have to ask yourself before planning a trip, answering why can be the most powerful and the one you want to ask yourself first. I'm also gonna sneak in a quick bonus question just for thought. What is holding you back? For years, I believed that I needed to wait for the right person or the right people to travel with me. I believed I needed at least seven to $10,000 for a European vacation. I believed I only had time for one vacation a year or maybe one every multiple years. And I believe that travel was not for people like me. I thought that's for them, it, it's not It's not for me. It's just good, good for you, I wanna do it, but it's just not for me. And I also didn't know where to start. I mean, there's all these fears about safety and language and I, so many things. Now I know better. Now I know that those lies were actually based on fear and a lack of knowledge and my own limiting beliefs. So ask yourself, what's holding you back? Is it having enough money to go on the trip? If that's what's holding you back, then you may wanna create a savings plan and set aside money, whether it's big or small, and let it add up until you have enough for your trip. You can also leverage credit card points and maybe search for affordable accommodations and leverage free or reduced price activities to save money. Or maybe instead of going right now when you wanna go, set your expectations on a future date. I saved for one year to go on my Paris trip and it was so worth it. 
and it was possible and I'm letting you know it's possible too. And I've got whole videos on how to create a monthly budget and how to plan a grocery spending budget so you can track those expenses because that's what helped me get on this trip and I know it can help you to reach your goals. Is not having the time off holding you back from traveling? If so, travel around a holiday or plan in advance so you and your employer can make accommodations for your trip. Even if it's just one or two days that you're able to go on your vacation, use that time you have wisely and just narrow down your activities to those that you are most interested in doing for the time that you have. Also, what about health? If health is stopping you from traveling, then take the time to recover and use travel planning as motivation to stay consistent with your treatment plan and your recovery plan. That way, when you're healed, you'll have an awesome trip planned and you'll be ready to go. Or while you're planning, look for unique and safe solutions to have the best experience possible. I know travel can be a luxury, but it is possible for everyone, no matter your budget, no matter your experience. And I know everyone's situation is different. If you can break through any fears or limiting beliefs, you just might have the trip of a lifetime. Once you've answered these five questions, now it's actually time to start planning your trip. And in my next video, I'm going to give you an exclusive behind the scenes look at how I actually plan my travels. Plus, share the resources and tools that I use to keep everything organized. And if you've made it this far in the video, y'all are the real MVPs. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek and a special discount code. So check the description box below to receive 10% off my travel vacation planning resource. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone who's also looking to plan a trip. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell and be notified for when my next video will post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.